The gathering of Gold Star families at President Donald Trump's rally in Philadelphia was a poignant tribute to the fallen soldiers and their grieving families. So I want to thank Darren Stan Hoover and Kelly Barnett, parents of Staff Sergeant Taylor Hoover. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Christy, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm looking over in the other area. He's, he's looking down, right? you know, they, they're all looking down right now, and they're proud of you, parents and sisters and brothers. There are a lot of them here. Christy Shamblin and Cheryl Jewell's mother-in-law and aunt of Sergeant Nicole Gee. Where are they? Nicole. That's good. Nicole G. Such a beautiful. You have the picture that you showed? It was so beautiful. So beautiful. Let me see that. So beautiful. Thank you. That this should have happened is disgraceful. Yep. That's it. Thank you. Say hello to everybody, please. All right. Herman Lopez and Alicia Lopez, parents of Corporal Hunter Lopez, a beautiful, a beautiful guy. Do you have that picture? Have it? Like a movie star, right? He looked like a movie star. Thank you both very much. Steve Nicoe, and this is the father of Lance Corporal, Kareem Nicoe, and that's it. You show that picture. He's looking down. He's proud of his pop. Thank you very much. That's another problem. You're right. That's another fentanyl. We were going to have it stopped. We had a deal with President Xi. He sends any more over. He has to give them the maximum death penalty, the maximum penalty, which was the death penalty. And then Biden never picked it up. Because you're right. Fentanyl kills hundreds of thousands of people a year. Jim McCollum, father of Lance Corporal. Riley McCollum. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Beautiful, beautiful families, beautiful children. They're not children, but they're children. They'll always be children to you, right? They were incredible people. I got to know many of them so well, so unnecessary. They lost 13, but we also had that nobody talks about the 38 people that were so horribly wounded, legs and arms and face obliterated. And hundreds and hundreds of people were killed that day that nobody talks about on both sides. And uh, just so sad that it happened. It would have never happened if we were elected, if we were in office. First of all, we wouldn't have used that airport. We would have used Bagram, which is a big airport with tremendous 50-mile surroundings. And we would have taken the military out last, right? Not first. You don't take the military out first. You take, don't forget, in addition to the lives lost and the lives that have been so badly hurt, $85 billion worth of equipment we gave them. 85. I rebuilt the entire military. We gave them $85 billion worth of equipment. And we left many people behind. They're still behind. Nobody even knows what the number is. As president, I will always defend our military families. We will honor our great veterans, and we will restore peace through strength. Thank you. These families likely resonate with Trump's criticism of the Biden administration's withdrawal from Afghanistan, viewing it as a catastrophic failure, demanding accountability, acknowledging the immense sacrifices made by military families is crucial, ensuring such heartbreaking losses aren't repeated due to poor leadership decisions. The event highlighted the profound impact of personal responsibility, authenticity, and loss on both individuals and families. The presence of Gold Star families at the rally was a deeply sincere expression of their sorrow, coupled with a call for justice and accountability. There's a profound appreciation for the necessity of leaders to confront the consequences of their decisions. The event underscored the need for leadership grounded in accountability and ethical integrity. Trump's speech resonated deeply with the collective psyche of the audience, especially the Gold Star families, as the public collectively acknowledged their loss 
and joined in chants of USA. This rally provided a cathartic experience for the families, helping them manage their grief and find meaning through shared support. Additionally, the public's reaction to the rally and the presence of Gold Star families reinforced the narrative of military honor and the urgent need for strong, decisive leadership to avert future tragedies. Whether these events genuinely honor the families or primarily advance a political agenda, they undeniably offer a significant boost to the conservative cause and the country as a whole.